welcome back to our max class our next topic is opposite angles now look into these angles here we have two angles on a straight line in the previous section we have studied how to find unknown angle on a straight line we know that angles on a sum of the angles on a straight line gives 180 degree so how we will find this angle Yes, we can find it out by subtracting this 70 degree from 180 degree. So, 180 degree minus 70 degree. What is the answer? Yes, 110 degree. So, we get this unknown angle as 110 degree. Let this angle be 1 and this angle be 2. Okay. Suppose if I am extending this upper line, okay, if I am extending this upper line downward like this, okay, suppose if I extend the upper line downward like this, what will be the angle here and here? Huh? What will be the angle? You do one thing, you forget about this side. Okay, you now think only about the left side. Here also we are having a straight line and one of the ankle is given and one ankle is unknown. How we will find this ankle? Same way as we done before. We have to subtract this 110 degree known ankle to find the unknown angle. We have to subtract this known angle 180 degree minus 110 10 degree. What is the answer? Yes, it is 70 degree. So, we can say that these two angles are linear pair. Now, coming to the right side. Forget about the left side. Now, see the right side. Here also, there is a straight line and we have two angles on a straight line. One angle is given. It is 70 degree. How we will find this angle? Yes, we find it out by subtracting the 70 degree from 180 degree. So, we get the ankle as 110 degree. So, now we get all the four angles. This is ankle 1, 70 degree. This is ankle 2, 110 degree. Let this be ankle 3 and this ankle 4. Okay, so angle 3 is 70 degree, angle 4 is 110 degree. Can you notice any speciality in these angles? Yes, opposite angles are equal. See, angle 2 and angle 4 are opposite to each other and they are equal. 110 degree, 110 degree. Angle 3 and angle 1 are opposite to each other and they are equal. 70 degree, 70 degree. So, we can say that, yes, when two lines intersect each other or when two lines cutting across each other, the sum of each pair of nearby angle, nearby angle is 180 degree like this. When we add angle 1 and angle 2 is 180 degree. When we add angle 2 and angle 3, it gives 180 degree. When we add angle 3 and angle 4, it gives 180 degree. So, all the adjacent angles will give 180 degree and each pair of opposite angles are equal. Do you understand? That means when two lines intersect each other, the nearby angle will give 180 degree. That means sum of angle 1 and angle 2 will give 180 degree. Sum of angle 2 and angle 3 will give 180 degree. Sum of angle 3 and angle 4 will give 180 degree. Sum of angle 4 and angle 1 gives 180 degree. Same way, opposite angle will also be equal like this. Angle 2 equal to angle 4. Angle 3 equal to angle 1. Let us note down vertically opposite angles. Which are the vertically opposite angles? Yes, 
angle 2 and angle 4. So, we can write angle 2 equal to angle 4 that is 110 degree. The next vertically opposite angle is angle 1 and angle 3. So, we can write angle 1 equal to angle 3 that is 70 degree. Okay. See the linear pairs. Which are the linear pair? Angle 1 and angle 2 are linear pair because the sum of these two angles gives 180 degree. Same way angle 2 and angle 3 are linear pair since the sum of these two angles gives 180 degree. Angle 3 and angle 4 are linear pair then angle 4 and angle 1 are also a linear pair. So, we can conclude that when two straight lines intersect each other, four angles are formed. The sum of each pair of nearby angle is 180 degree and each pair of opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles when two lines intersect, the angles that are formed opposite to each other at the point of intersection vertex are called vertically opposite angles. In this picture, angle AOC is vertically opposite to angle DOB and angle AOD is vertically opposite to angle COB.